in the sun, square pyramid is resting on one of its base edge on HP. Axis incline at 30 degree to HP. Then that base edge is inclined at 45 degree to 3 and we have to draw an apex is nearer to the observer and the apex is away from the observer. So what we will do, if we see this, it is resting on base edge, right, on horizontal plane. Then we have axis inclined at 30 degree to HP. See it is resting on one of its base edge, then axis inclined at HP. Then base edge inclined at 45 degree to VP. So first we will start with horizontal plane. Because it is resting on one of its base edge and axis inclined at 30 degree to HP. So first we will say, first we will say if axis inclined at 30 degree to HP, so first we will draw axis perpendicular to HP. So top view will give you true shape. And in top view, we will draw square this way. Why? Because it is resting on one of its base edge. So base edge has to come on right hand side. So we have drawn first stage where we have drawn a square pyramid which is resting on its base. This is maybe this is apex apex o dash m dash of axis. Now they are given axis inclined at 30 degree to HP. If this axis inclined at 30 degree to HP, then base will be inclined at what angle? 60. So we will draw 60 degree. We will take B dash, C dash, 2 A dash, D dash and we will cut on this side. This is A dash, D dash. This is B dash, C dash. Then we will take A dash, D dash to O dash and we will cut on this side. Same way we will take B dash, C dash to O dash and we will cut on this side. So we get O dash. We can draw axis. Then draw A dash D dash from here. A and D from here. So we get D as well as A. Then same way B dash C dash from here. B and C from here. Then O dash from here and O from here. Now what you have to do? If observer is seeing from the top, right? Because right now we are drawing top first thing would be all the down boundary lines would be done. Then when you see from the top O dash A dash and O dash D dash is nearer to you. So O D and O A will be nearer to you. Right? And this B dash C dash is away from you. So that would be dot. After that we will project M dash from here. So we get M. Then this is axis. Now if you see the given base edge which is inclined at 45 degree with VP and in that term uh, in that term given two condition apex nearer to the observer and apex away from the observer. So what we will do? First we will talk about the base edge. So which is the base edge on which it is resting? That is BC. BC is the base edge on which it is resting on horizontal plane. So that this BC is inclined at 45 degree to VP. So what we will do? First we will draw case A where apex is nearer to the observer. So we will take 45 degree. We will take BC and we will cut on this side. See, we will take B to C and we will cut on this side. So this will be dotted. This is B. This is C. Then we know that this is perpendicular. So we can draw perpendicular from here. That is, from here we can draw perpendicular. Take C to B, C to B, and we cut on this side. Or we can do what? We can take C to B, cut here. Take B to D, and from B you cut. So that way also you can mark B. Same way you mark point A also. And take B to O, cut on this side. Take C to O, cut on this side from here. So we get point O also. So 
this will be done. E2O will be done. T2O will be dark. You can mark axis also. After this, we we'll project A from here and A from here. So we get A dash. Same way, D from here and D from here will get D dash. Then you project B from here and B dash from here to get B dash. Same way, C from here, C from here to get C dash. And O is there, project O. And from here, you get O dash. Now, observer is seen from this side, where observer, apex is nearer to the observer, right? First, we will draw all the line. D dash from here. First we will join O dash to A dash, A dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, and O dash to C dash. This is boundary line. After boundary line, we will see from down. So when I will see from down, B is nearer to the observer. So that means B dash will be dark corner. So from O dash, B dash will be dark. B is away from observer. See this. So whatever line goes from B dash, that would be dotted. So O dash, D dash, A dash to D dash, D dash to C dash will be dot. We can project M, M dash from here, and M from here. So we'll get axis M dash. We can draw axis also. So we are done with part A, that is base edge is inclined at 45 degree with BP when apex is nearer to the observer. See this, this is the apex. The observer is seen from this direction, so it is nearer to the observer. Now we'll see case B. Case B, then in case B that given apex is away from observer. Now if apex is away from observer, what we will do? We will draw 45 degree. We'll take BC. See this, we'll take this BC. And again, we will draw this again over there, incline at 45 degree. Like how, how we did it over here, but in that case, O was down, apex was down. In this case, we will draw it again, but in this case, now apex will be up towards the x1 end. Because we want to draw apex away from the observer. First, you can C, B, you take distance and you cut, that is B, A, then you take axis. After this, we will project D from here and D from here. So take B dash, C from here, this is C dash. Same way, A from here, A dash, last B dash and O dash. See again we get all this point. What we need to do? We need to draw boundary line. O dash to D dash, C dash, B dash. See this is B dash, C dash, D dash, A dash, and O dash. Now when observer is seen from this direction, see this, when observer is seen from this direction, O is away from observer, right? Okay. And if you see A point A is nearer to the observer, that means A will be A dash will be dark corner. So from A dash all the lines will be dark. 
And if you see C is away from the observer. So O dash to C dash to three. We can draw axis also. We can project M dash from here, M from here, we get M dash. 